Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various Telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. First, let's learn about the radio crystal. The crystal radio receiver, also called a crystal set, is a simple radio receiver, popular in the early days of radio. It uses only the power of the received radio signal to produce sound, needing no external power. It is named for its most important component, a crystal detector, originally made from a piece of crystalline mineral such as galena. This component is now called a diode. Crystal radios are the simplest type of radio receiver, and can be made with a few inexpensive parts, such as a wire for an antenna, a coil of wire, a capacitor, a crystal detector, and earphones, because a crystal set has insufficient power for a loudspeaker. However they are passive receivers, while other radios use an amplifier powered by current from a battery or wall outlet to make the radio signal louder. Thus, crystal sets produce rather weak sound, and must be listened to with sensitive earphones, and can receive stations only within a limited range of the transmitter. The rectifying property of a contact between a mineral and a metal was discovered in 1874 by Carl Ferdinand Braun. Crystals were first used as a detector of radio waves in 1894 by Jagadish Chandra Bose, in his microwave optics experiments. They were first used as a demodulator for radio communication reception in 1902 by G.W. Pickard. Crystal radios were the first widely used type of radio receiver, and the main type used during the wireless telegraphy era. Sold and homemade by the millions, the inexpensive and reliable crystal radio was a major driving force in the introduction of radio to the public, contributing to the development of radio as an entertainment medium with the beginning of radio broadcasting around 1920. Then this guy invents something that should be a complete no-brainer to us. If we can power radios with only the radio signal, we can do the same with TVs, as well as other things amplification with crystals. The next step is, to figure out how to harness the pulse emanating from the earth, no one in the mainstream likes to talk about. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In the Indian city of Puri, stands the temple of Jagannatha in the 11th century. We won't go into detail about how the 65-meter-high structure survived earthquakes in time, but the dome of the temple definitely needs attention. Once again, a stone temple, 65 meters high, and topped with a monolithic structure weighing 20,000 tons. With that kind of weight modern construction, technology does not mess with, if anything, is impractical. Does anyone have any idea, what kind of cranes were used in the 11th century, to haul this thing, to the top of the temple? Isaac Newton had his own Bible, with pictures, which I suggest you look at more closely. In 1731, this physicist mathematician mechanic astronomer sketched the globe and its continents with great accuracy just like the globe that exists today. 
He especially accurately sketched Antarctica, which was just under a century away from discovery. Either the brilliant scientist was a visionary, or you decide. The Real Dimensions of the Indian Ocean The map that Ptolemy made in the 2nd century, according to their calculus, according to official history. Note the size of the Indian Ocean Sea, it is as big as 5 to 6 Mediterranean seas. Someone will ask, how can you believe some old maps out there? Answer. Some of the lands known to us are depicted on these maps accurately enough, which means that this chart was made from the air, the only possible way to map the terrain, the topography. The second interesting point is that it is impossible to sail around Africa, which is confirmed by sailors, and there is no evidence to the contrary, no one has sailed around Africa. The 1838 painting by Charles Robert Cockerell, titled, A Tribute to the Memory of Sir Christopher Wren. We see many beautiful and advanced structures around the world, but could you imagine an entire city of them? Before the destruction of the vast majority of the old world, it is likely that cities would have looked somewhat similar to this depiction. Our real history is much different than what we were taught in school. The most effective way to destroy people is, to deny and obliterate their own understanding of their history. George Orwell. The more conscious and spiritually inclined humanity once roamed the world. They had advanced technology that worked synergistically with nature, unlike modern technologies which are destructive to nature. The people of these civilizations possessed a deep understanding of our reality. Anyway, this is Schwerin Castle, Germany absolutely immaculate structure from the old world. Building completed in the year 973. How could they construct such grand buildings back then? This story is a lie. Our ancestors were far more advanced than we taught. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.